Hey, it's been a while. So as you probably have seen, I haven't uploaded a video in a long time. Let's just put it that way. So I wanted to give you an update on where things are and what I think will be happening fairly soon on the Easy Theory channel. So recently we hit 20,000 subscribers and passed 2 million views, which is not really that much in the grand state of YouTube, but if you think about what that actually means, that means that 20,000 people have said, I like what you do, I'm going to support you by watching more of what you put out. And 2 million instances of where someone looked at a thumbnail that I created in five minutes or whatever and said, I want to watch that. That's pretty incredible given the type of material I put out, which is theoretical computer science. Who actually would care about that? So over the last year, the subscriber number and the view count have steadily increased. And that has pressured me more and more to put out quality videos it just got to the point where I couldn't really justify to myself a high enough quality video. Like, I just kept saying, all of these amazing creators out there making these amazing theory videos, and I just can't make videos in comparison. So there's a lot of errors in the videos that I've put out, more than I could ever live with. And you could say, well, why don't you just go back through your existing videos and get rid of the ones that have the errors and replace them with new ones. Well, there are several problems. One is existing subscribers are going to have to re-watch existing videos that they've already watched effectively just so that I fix the errors. And that just doesn't seem reasonable to me. And the other thing is that I can't stand to watch my own videos. Like the quality is just so bad both production, in terms of video quality, in terms of audio quality, in terms of the mistakes I've made. One surprising fact is that only one video on my entire channel, including this one, is scripted. So what I'm doing right here is completely unscripted. Only one video on my entire channel is scripted. And that just is not justifiable to me. What I want to do is to make high quality videos for all of you. What I want to do is I want to make the best theory videos that I possibly can that can explain the concepts within theoretical computer science, not only an audience that is composed of, let's say, undergrads or graduate computer science students, but generally. And that gets into what I would consider the main reason why I created the channel was entirely selfish which is I wanted to make a bunch of videos that I would find interesting, that I would watch myself. So there's a bunch of videos that I've made that are really, really technical. So like one example is proving the pumping lemma for linear languages or showing that a context-free language is inherently ambiguous. So those two videos on my channel have very low view count, but I would consider those the types of videos that I would watch because that's the type of thing that I'm interested in. But that's not what you are interested in, humble viewer. <laughs> what you are interested in are videos to help you understand the basic stuff within theory. And that's the thing that I've noticed when teaching this class over and over and over, which is that students generally don't understand the absolute basics, not the high level, really difficult pumping lemma arguments or the undecidability reductions or whatever. Those kinds of things are completely foreign to all but the highest performing students. The absolute basics are also foreign to a good chunk of students. So I think I need to shift my perspective, which is stop being so selfish, but in the way that I need to make videos for you, not for me. So some examples are what goes into a proof? What is a proof in the first place? What is an existential quantifier? What are the set operations? What is a power set? Why is it important? Uh, what is a formal definition? What is a theorem? 
What is an axiom? What is a corollary? All of those things are the absolute basics of theory. And I made those videos in the past because I knew those things. But what I found is that the vast majority of you do not. And I would like to rectify that. So hopefully in the future, I will find it within myself to make high quality videos about those things at the very least. But I still want to also make videos about solving single problems where I have some problem where I have, let's say I want to show that some language is regular, then I need to make a machine to recognize that, a finite automaton. And I would go through the argument of we need to have these states here and these states be final states and transitions and whatnot and justify why it's correct. But the thing is, is that that's not what I think the important thing is to the vast majority of you, which is understanding the absolute basics, but also knowing why they are important. Why do we have theorems? Why do we have proofs at all? Why do we base everything off sets? That kind of stuff. I want this channel to be true to its name about easy theory, making all of theory easy, not just the really hard stuff, but even the most basic things. And that's what I want to do in the future. So some of the problems are that I am not good at video editing other than just the most basic things like animations, layout, sound design. I'm just not good at that stuff. And if I'm going to be dedicating time to making high quality videos, then I need to spend a long time doing those things. And I can commit to that, but I need to know whether or not that that would be an idea that you would want to watch. So hopefully if that sounds interesting, please let me know. If you have other ideas of what you want to see, or if you've taken the class before, what else you want to see, what could have helped you more, because that is what this channel is all about. It's about you, it's not about me. So thanks for watching and thanks for supporting the channel so far.